nothing else they can do. Number two will stiff the Raptors. That's it. It's over. The Raptors. NBA champs. MVP, Kawhi Leonard. What a year for Kawhi Leonard. Because he's done it. Franchise done it. Still playing basketball. No matter what jersey I have on. He's on another team and we just have to kick his ass. Decisions, decisions. Kawhi Leonard might be the biggest name on the market this weekend. Yahoo's Chris Haynes back with us this Friday morning. What can you tell us about what you're hearing per Kawhi? Well, I reported yesterday that um, Kawhi is expected to meet with the Los Angeles Lakers, Los Angeles Clippers here in L- L.A. Uh, when free agency commences. Um, the Raptors are going to be, be in the mix as well. Um, the Knicks are trying to secure a meeting. They're, they're expected to, to get in the mix as well. Mm. Um, so, look. I, I said this from the beginning. I, I think my personal opinion, I think it's going to be very hard for Kawhi to leave Toronto. Just with everything that was, the, the trust that was built, the, the magical season they had. But look, w- for a while, Kawhi has wanted to be home. He's wanted to be in L.A. And then th- this is the first time in a while where I can remember, definitely the first time since I've been covering the league nine years, that both L.A. teams are attractive. Like, there was, those are attractive situations. Yeah. Like, L.A. Clippers have a great thing going, foundation, and you look at what the Lakers are doing. So I think, particularly as it pertains to the Lakers, he, get, he gives them that meeting. If LeBron shows up. Oh, he's showing up. If AD shows up. I'm showing up, too. Magic Johnson shows up. That's, that's, that's appealing, man. You can talk about just legacy. They can talk about all the banners um, that, that'll retire, all the great players that came through this franchise. Mm-hmm. And, and I think that can tug at his emotional stream, but also the fact that just being home. So I, I, think, I think they're going to have a real serious and enticing pitch for Kawhi, as well as the, the L.A. Clippers. Man, but, I, you know, I, it's still hard for me to believe. But look, if he were to leave Toronto, and I saw you, I heard the monologue. I heard you talking about he's going to screw the Raptors. like the, but look, he wanted that to happen. I didn't say screw. I said stiff. Well, okay, like, so I'm gonna say screw stiff. <laughs> <laughs> you want you yeah. want that to happen because you want somebody else other than you to have resentment but, against Kawhi. But what does he owe Toronto? There's what a whole he nation old? that has resentment. Yeah. It's called Spurs Nation. Spurs Nation okay, and the Raptor Nation yeah. also. Yeah. If you were to leave, but, but what 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 does he owe the Raptors? He came in one year, okay. got them their lone championship in franchise history, beating a dynasty-led team in the Golden Ooh. State Warriors. Okay. Should he be, if he does leave, shouldn't he be allowed to okay. go and find it? He was traded there. He didn't pick to go there. So he owes them the final meeting, right? Is that what he can Oh, he gave get the last shot? Uh-huh. Yeah, he gave okay. yeah, That's the lead. So? You figure that's the lead. <laughs> so? So, that's, gonna, that's not going to work. What? He will have decided by the time he... It's we don't know that, Skip. Stop. That's we don't know that. Look, huh. for me, I don't know how he goes back. Because if you look at this roster, after next year, they'll have only three guys on the contract. Kawhi, Norman Powell, and mm. Anunoby. Your researcher made a great point about that. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I mean, think a, about it. He was a researcher. <laughs> <laughs> so think about that. All the guys, Siakam and Van Vliet and Kyle Lowry uh-huh. and Ibaka mm-hmm. and Marc Gasol, they're either restricted or unrestricted free agents. Mm-hmm. So to try to keep that nucleus together is going to be very difficult. And now what do you have to trade? I mean, to get Kawhi, you had pieces that you could trade. Well, you can't trade somebody that you don't have a contract mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. So now how do you build a team? Because every free, every great friend, every uh, great player that they had has left. You look at Vince Carter. He left. Tracy McGrady. He left. Chris Bosh. He left. They didn't mm-hmm. want to stay. Mm-hmm. As Chris mentioned. Kawhi got traded. He didn't like, man, Toronto's appealing. I'm going there. Mm-hmm. Now, the question when you come down to the L.A. teams, does Kawhi want to drive the car or is he comfortable riding in the car with his homeboy? Because if he's comfortable riding, you know, ain't no problem with me, scared. You know, hey, I ride shotgun. Mm. I ain't got no problem. I see the cat bird seed chill. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm in the car. A nice mm. car, too. Remember what Rick Buecher said? Talked to Kawhi. It was yeah. a year ago. Kawhi mm-hmm. said, I don't want to... Play with LeBron, I want to beat LeBron. That's what he said. Okay, but okay. that was before he won another title. Mm-hmm. Now he be coming in, hey, hey, I, hey, I got two MVPs too, LeBron. Mm-hmm. LeBron got three. I've been two-time uh, defensive player of the year. I've been two-time first-team All-NBA, LeBron. So, you know, now he's, he's, he's not on, you know, I don't believe LeBron level, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but Skip, it's a lot different. Mm-hmm. Now we view Kawhi because after what we saw him do, regardless of how it happened, KD got injured, Clay got injured. He got that on his resume. We've seen Kawhi 
take a team that was not going to be in the NBA Finals mm -hmm. and navigate those waters. Milwaukee, number one seed, six, only team to win 60 games. Oh, young talent, young, big team in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid, Jimmy Butler, uh, uh, Ben Simmons. Take them down. Mm. And then he went to that dynasty up in gold and the bait. Mm. Mm. So right. we look at him totally different now. <sighs> so I, number two's hidden agenda, <laughs> which was not so hidden from the start in San Antonio a year ago, two years ago now, was to get home, to your point. They wanted out of San Antonio and back to Southern California. And I think they didn't know at that point Lakers, Clippers, because they were both in flux at that right. point. It was hard to see all coming that came, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So they wound up forced to go to Toronto for a year, and they got every break. People got hurt, Embiid was sick and injured, sick and injured, and then KD went down again, and Clay went down. Mm -hmm. So it all worked. Magic happened, to your point. It was a magical ride, yes. and it happened. And yet, does he want to live in Toronto? He does not want to live in Toronto. And I'm going to refer to Lou Williams' quote of two days oh, ago. Oh, I knew that was coming up soon. Oh, sweet Lou. Okay, <laughs> sweet Lou. And he is a member, as we speak, of the Los Angeles yes. Clippers. So this is a recruiting pitch in a way. But I'll, I'll just boil it down to, he said, when, when you're in Toronto, you feel like you're playing overseas. He, he said, w we couldn't wait to go on the road sometimes just to be back in America. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm sure there's some of that operating. operating. No, no offense to Canada. It's yeah, a great place. Yes. Toronto is a, it's not a good city. It's a great city, oh, yeah. but it's not in the United States nope. of America. So in the end, I think that's going to be the deciding factor. He wants to go home. He did grow up a Laker fan because the Clippers were awful. So in his heart, heartstrings, you know, get the tug on the heartstrings, they're going to get tugged. What did Dorothy say? Your favorite movie, The Wizard of Oz. Yeah, I know. There's no yeah. place like home. Okay. There's All no right. Place. That, and he, he ain't going to Kansas. She was in rural Kansas. Yeah. Not on a farm. Yeah, right? he coming right. to bright lights, Hollywood. Mm. Oh. You know, he just got that big old place in Rancho Santa Fe. Yeah. He did. Although Thomas Wolfe once said, you can't go home again. Yes, you can. Okay, you can. You can't go home <laughs> You again. go back to Oklahoma all the time. I do. I do. <laughs> He's not, but to your point about him... You don't see him going back to Toronto. Look, and you mentioned the, the guys is under contract minimum time. Look, look, I think most people think that if he does resign back in Toronto, it won't be a, a long term deal. It'd be a one and one. Why would you do that with his injury be history? Because, because well, that, that's that, that's a, that's a good point. But why would you do that just from a team perspective? Okay, to run it back because everybody wants you know everybody's going to be back. What you accomplished was great. Let's run it back for another year. Then you can decide on your long-term future. But yes, but look, the way you said his injury history, but the way the Raptors handle him and manage him throughout oh, the yeah, season. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Cool. That, that helps and that yeah. benefits him. That, that can happen. No back-to-back, -back, 22 games yeah. of load management. There's no risk. Access mm. to Uncle Dennis, fiance. Yeah, home, his home slices. Mm. They got access. Mm. I mean, he got they, they rolled out the carpet. Mm. It was pink, red, green, blue. I don't know what Whatever. color carpet. Yeah, but they rolled it out for him. <laughs> I believe he's bound for the Clippers. Lakers. I believe in Jerry West. Everything he has touched I believe has in Rob gold Lincoln. in this league. Everywhere Jerry West has been. I believe in Rob. Since Lakers, when? Memphis. Since he gold got that four million dollar contract. <laughs> And we pulled up that trade <laughs> As I told you earlier, overnight he went from should be fired to should be executive yeah. of the year. Am I right? Yeah, overnight. Yeah. Well, he, you know, he's slick. You know, mm -hmm. he's slick with that tongue. He, don't, he, he got somebody to take those three guys, mm -hmm. Bonga and, and, and Wagner and, and who else? Uh, the other guy. Yeah, yeah I forget, I forget yeah. the guy, but there were three guys. He, okay, he got he somebody. It. He pulled it off. But Jerry West has pulled off a lot of things he, in this league. He did. Steve Ballmer has the deepest pockets. Not that yeah. you do have a cap, but but listen, I love Doc Rivers. If if I could choose to play for somebody in this league, I'd want to play for Doc. And I think that will those will be three big deciding factors. They they can roll out some carpet too. Yeah. Some firepower. But they can't tell you, let me tell you what they can't roll out. They can't roll out LeBron James. No. We can. They can't roll out A D. We can. What if they roll out Jimmy Butler or even, dare I say, what if it's Kevin Durant. What if they roll that? Now, what do we get KD? Yeah. Well, he might get KD. Well, then you don't need him, right? No. Okay. <laughs> Only right. wheel him out for the next few months. Hopefully, Katie's yep. rehab will go just fine. Oh, Chris, thanks so much for being here with you. us. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Speaking <laughs> of that move the Lakers made, is Magic Johnson actually happy for Rob Palenka? Yeah. We'll discuss.